the Hebrew Scriptures, the book of the Psalms, reading verses 8 through 12 of Psalm 85, a word of peace being spoken by God to God's people. Please join with me in the reading. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people, to his faithful, to those who turn to him in their hearts. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground, and righteousness will look down from the sky. The Lord will give what is good, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him, and will make a path for his steps. The second lesson comes to us likewise from the Hebrew Scriptures, the book of the prophet Isaiah. I'll read the first five verses, which were so wonderfully presented a little earlier at the lighting of our Advent candle today. Peace. But as the psalmist said, the land of the people of God was so very special and sacred. And at the time, we're going to, from the prophet Isaiah, from which I will read, the people had been exiled from the land. And not only had they been thrust into exile in Assyria and Babylonia, but the special land itself, Jerusalem, the Holy Temple, lay in ruins. But still the prophet speaks to them of the hope that one day, God will make the way straight for them to be able to return to their sacred land and holy temple. And this is the word of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, O oh comfort, my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term that her penalty is paid and she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sin. A voice cries out, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level and the rough places a plain. Then, the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. This is the word of God, and be to God for the gift of it. Amen. In the United Church of Christ, in all of its local churches, we have a kind of prophetic statement ourselves, a statement that I am fairly enamored of. And I trust you've heard it, I'm not saying anything new, it goes like this, no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. My deepest hope, then, hope candle one, is that everyone who enters our doors feels welcome among us and blessed to be here. No matter where we are on life's journey, hopefully we'll find a house of peace Second candle. And house of peace translated into Hebrew actually is Jerusalem, relating to the words of the prophet and the psalmist. 
that that house of peace might be found by you all right here in this sacred place of ours. Most especially it might be found when you're feeling as the Hebrews of old were that they were in a kind of wilderness. Strangers in a strange land. Hopefully that peace can be felt here especially when any of us may be in a wilderness place, metaphorically speaking in those fearful or weary times of life. Perhaps being challenged or weary of things. Perhaps parched and thirsting for some spiritual strength. May this be the place that those things can be tended to. No matter if any of us happen to be in that place at this moment, we've all had such moments, I mean, when we were in a kind of wandering wilderness, wondering, needing, sad, grieving. We all know how difficult those times are. Now the people of God to whom Isaiah addressed the words of Scripture today, they were clearly in that sort of place. They had been exiled afar from their city of peace and its holy temple, both of which, as I say, lay in ruin. To them, the prophet speaks a word of God's comfort, in peace. To them he speaks the word of God's assurance that one day the journey back to him and to those sacred places will be made smooth and plain. To us, the prophet speaks God's promise to deliver peace in that time and salvation as well. And couldn't we use a little peace along our way? Now clearly we are all at different places of our Advent journey this year. But I would venture that there is one thing we all hold in common. And it's the hope for a little personal peace along the way to December 25th. Well, somehow, God will see us through the wilderness, the valleys and the mountains in our lives, the dry times and the rough ones. That's a promise. That's the promise. It's even more than a hope. It's a promise. In my own preparations for this morning, I came across a memory shared by a clergy author. He writes about driving on a hot Carolina afternoon when he passed one of those orchards with a you pick peaches sign. And he writes, I'm going to quote here, I doubt my bargain would be sufficiently attractive to lure me out of my air conditioned car into the steamy afternoon to pick fruit. But we pulled over, paid our money, and selected a bushel basket to fill with ripe South Carolina peaches. As we set off into the orchard, an old fellow as wrinkled as a peach pit, who was tending the place, said, If you want the best fruit, go deeper into the orchard. The peaches on the fringes are picked over. But deeper in, you'll find the best fruit. So we walked a ways and figured we'd gone far enough. We sat down in the basket, but the old man hollered, Go deeper. So we picked up the basket 
went a little further and started to pick again, the voice came, no, go even deeper, the best fruits further in. Once more, we picked up the basket, walked a little farther, thinking we were surely deep enough and feeling like we had gone about as far as we could. Came the old man shout once more, go on, go deeper. And so we did, right into the midst of the orchard, and we found that the old man was right. The finest, plumpest peaches we'd ever had or seen were there untouched and waiting for us. Can't you almost hear the old man's voice? Go deeper. I think it applies to us as we journey into Advent ourselves. We need to go deeper, deeper to find that promised peace. Go deeper. And can't you almost hear too the echo in the prophet's voice? Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed unto you. And can't you hear the invitation of Jesus here this morning? Come to my table. Take me. Hope. Oh.